The Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center is really going to be a unique opportunity for, for UNL. We have this expansion is going to allow us to do commercial scaled research. It's really the only public institution in the world that will have commercial scaled facilities and that opens the door to possibilities of different research that we can do that really we've never been able to, to get access to other than working on farm or on feedlots. The uniqueness will be uh, some innovations in housing. So we will have two cattle barns that are uh, confined barns with slatted floor. That changes things in terms of how cattle perform, uh, the type of manure that's produced, the uh, environmental concerns in those housing systems. And we'll have the only facility in the world that'll have a side-by-side -side comparison of that to traditional open lots. In addition, we'll have some unique innovations in our open lot facility that have really never been tried before uh, and, and is unique because we've been building open lot pens the same for 60 years and really excited with some of the innovations that we're exploring. In the precision management space, we are going to be looking at ways to improve labor, uh, mostly by adoption of technology to improve cattle behavior, welfare, and detection of animal uh, of health and disease, and to look at what's the way we can predict better outcomes using technologies to improve performance and, and essentially make feedlots uh, uh, more efficient and, and more productive like we've continued for the last 50 years. Environmental sustainability will be a major focus, and so what the impact of these housing systems and diets and management that we impose, we're gonna look at in our, in our system, which is really an integrated system at the Eastern Nebraska Research Extension Education Center, where we, can, we have the cropping enterprises and now we have even more with our expansion of the Feedlot Innovation Center. Very excited to uh, have the, the Kloppenstein Feeding Technology Center as part of the Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center. Uh, Terry had tremendous impact here at UNL on the state and, uh, and on the U.S. cattle feeding industry. And uh, this individual animal management facility that's part of the Kloppenstein Klop, uh, Feeding Technology Center will really be a way for us to look at individual animal management and learn a lot more about how individuals are behaving in, in group settings. With respect to, to education, the, the Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center uh, represents an opportunity for us to, to really actuate a, a living classroom. Um, this classroom within the facility uh, will provide us with an opportunity for our, our students, um, our alumni, our stakeholders to get uh, real world, hands-on experiences and um, specifically, for example, um, the classroom and the facility will contain uh, state-of-the-art uh, animal handling facilities that will provide um, our uh, students and, and stakeholders with the opportunity to um, get training that will uh, not only uh, benefit them for their, their educational experiences for our cur current students, but also um, meets a demand in terms of workforce development and uh, specifically this training in animal handling, animal welfare, animal behavior is, is something that is, is very unique to this facility. We're really excited to offer a unique student experience really at the undergraduate level as well as at the graduate student level uh, by having the Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center. We're going to propose a school of feedlot management, if you will. It'll be a four to six month experiential learning experience where they'll be uh, essentially an employee that learns all of the activities within and all of the operations within a feedlot. And, and perhaps most exciting is, is that if we're testing the latest and greatest technologies and innovations, Let's be frank, some of our stakeholders won't want to learn all of those technologies or how all of those innovations work. But if our students are on the ground level of the development of those innovations, have hands-on experience and know how it works, uh, they're quite attractive then to, to uh, be employed in the feedlot industry because you can hire one of our students then and they'll take care of that for you. 
In listening to, to our stakeholders, one of, the, one of the current needs is in workforce development. And so the more that we can do to prepare our students, um, but also to provide a platform for continuing education and for education of those that are already in the workforce um, represents an opportunity that this Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center um, has as a unique um, benefit to um, not only to, to Nebraska but to um, stakeholders throughout the country in terms of meeting that demand for, for workforce development. We're celebrating the 50th year anniversary of INR and the theme is innovation and uh, we've initiated the Beef Innovation Hub. So you can see innovation is key to most things that we're focused on here in, in the now and in the future. So one of those innovations is to be a test bed. So we look, we're looking at a lot of public-private partnerships to be a, a testing facility at commercial scale for many of the companies that are developing uh, precision management techniques or environmental sustainability uh, equipment or processes. And many times those private companies need a public institution to test those. And as a stakeholder, you really wanna know, does this have any independent research behind it? Uh, does this work for me at my operation, in my environment, at my scale? And given that we're here in Eastern Nebraska, we think we can be a test bed to uh, evaluate all those uh, private technologies that are coming. This year, in 2023, we celebrate 125 years of history for our department. The Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center is a unique facility. No other place in the world will have this type of facility. And so this effort and the, um, the benefit of our stakeholders and the contribution of our stakeholders will continue to set us on a trajectory that continues this impactful um, history and, and sets the stage for the next page in our, in our department's history. The Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center has really uh, been in plan mode for the last five years. And I'm always amazed uh, with the stakeholder support and the philanthropic uh, goals and ideals that, that people have by donating and helping us build state-of-the-art facilities. And it's very much appreciated because it's our job to be good stewards of all of our support, uh, both state and private. And we can do that very well, but it's difficult to raise the funds to build facilities. It's much easier for us to uh, get to work and do our part to raise funds to research and support students and so on once we have those facilities in place. So I'm amazed and humbled and appreciative of all the support we've already uh, received. And, uh, and I hope that we'll continue to receive. And I think that'll happen as long as we do our job and we're good stewards and do meaningful research and, and get those results out and producers find that valuable and, and helps their bottom line. So that's our goal. Very much appreciate everybody's support and uh, look forward to a, a long standing uh, beneficial relationship with our stakeholders, but maybe more importantly, the really exciting things to come in the next few years from our Klosterman Feedlot Innovation Center.